All right, so this video is going to be just a little different mm -hmm. because we're not exactly starting from scratch. Right. We're going to take an existing $5 Halloween decoration mm -hmm. and turn it into a Pirates of the Caribbean skeleton. Yeah, and anybody can do this. Yeah. Literally anyone. But the first thing we need is the skeleton. Hello, <laughs> gorgeous. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> now, he was just a $5 skeleton. Yeah. Very inexpensive, mm -hmm. easy to find. Right. But we're going to turn him into something with a little more character. Yeah. And the first thing we have to do in this makeover mm -hmm. is saw his arms off. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> and we're doing that to change the orientation of his hands. Oh, right. Okay. To give him more of a welcoming, beckoning stance. Mm -hmm. Not so much uh, like the stiff Frankenstein pose that oh, he's right. in. So you file his parts till mm -hmm. they're rough, yeah. then you super glue. Yeah, and because I wanted to stick quickly, yeah. I also sprayed it with some of that accelerator. This part seems pretty simple. It is. But if anyone's going to try this, yeah. just be very careful with the knife and the super glue. Yeah. But when I almost forgot, mm -hmm. if we're gonna turn him into a pirate skeleton, I have to snip off this little hang loop that he Yeah, we with. don't need that. And there we go. <laughs> Pirate mustache. <laughs> He's done. Love it. <laughs> no, what I did next was uh, I hit him with the hair dryer, uh -huh. which was not hot enough for what oh, right. I needed, so I switched to a heat gun. Right, because you don't want to have to cut and glue him every time you right. want to change his pose. Exactly, which mm -hmm. I was going to do until you told me to use the hair dryer. Oh. <laughs> so you know, but heating up the plastic, yeah. I can bend his parts around. And when they cool down, they'll be in a new position. Yeah. So I added some curve to his neck, mm -hmm. and I also spread his arms out a little wider. We also dropped some UV resin on his jaw so it would stay open. Yeah, yeah, and because we wanted that Pirates of the Caribbean permanent scream. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I also stuffed air dry clay into his screw holes before I primed him. He's going to be wearing clothes. Of course. But in case they don't cover everything, mm -hmm. we don't want his screw holes showing. No, no. Nobody wants their screw holes showing. <laughs> right. <laughs> Okay, now he's all primed and ready for us to add a little character to these bones. You went to all this trouble to set up this shot, and you wouldn't tell me why. <laughs> right, but once the blood started flowing... <laughs> I love it. It looks awful. Oh, it's horrifying. Uh, it and of course it's not blood. Right. You know, it's a wash of a reddish-brown acrylic paint. This will age his bones a little, yeah. make him look more realistic. Mm -hmm. But I also threw in some other colors. Mm -hmm. I used green, right. but you can use alternate browns, uh, blues even. You know, whatever oh, yeah. fits your project. Right. It just takes that bland Halloween white ah, off yeah. the bones and just gives them more character. Oh, and here come the pantaloons. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. The you know, I was uh, in my high school musical production of uh -huh. Here Come the Pantaloons. <laughs> <laughs> To rave reviews. <laughs> wow. Yeah, but you know, but you can find patterns for pants mm -hmm. and vests online. Oh it's, yeah, it's not difficult. Right. And then I just handled all the sewing tasks. Better you than me. Oh, you could have done this. Oh, thanks. Now I had to age these pantaloons. Oh yeah. So aside from cutting my work to shreds, oh, yeah. <laughs> I also scraped on some pastel dust mm -hmm. and I worked it in with a brush. Okay. You know, I wanted them to look old and worn, right. kind of mildewy and moldy. Uh, they do, mm -hmm. but with the vest, you didn't use the pastels. You no. did what, a black wash? Yeah. Acrylics? That's exactly what I did. Okay. And it darkened up the fabric really nicely. This reminds me of when I was a kid, huh? and I used to dress up my rotting skeleton doll. <laughs> <laughs> Those are the times of your life that yes. you really treasure as an adult. <laughs> right. I'm really happy that you had a rotting skeleton doll. <laughs> me too. So he's, we're almost at the end here, right? Yeah. I mean, his clothing's almost finished. Okay. I just have to attach the vest with a little fabric glue. Mm -hmm. And it might be a good time to mention the reason we started this project right. is because we did that 
Pirates of the Caribbean watercolor a few weeks ago. Yeah, we, we often draw something and yeah. end up sculpting it. Yeah. And then maybe build an environment. Yeah, draw it, sculpt it, build it. It's that <laughs> thing we do. And right. we're doing it here again. Yeah. And I'm having fun. Good. Okay, he's looking pretty ghastly, mm-hmm. but he needs to get worse. Of course. So you prepped <laughs> some wool for me to glue uh, onto his dome as hair. I tried to pick good corpsey colors. Well, you did. <laughs> uh, I was looking at shots from the ride at Disney World, uh-huh. and it feels like the stringy corpse hair just makes the skeletons look more terrifying. Oh, yeah. Okay, a couple final details. A lot of these pirates in the ride still have their weapons. Yeah. So I grabbed some cheap leather mm-hmm. and a tiny little buckle, and I made... Oh, what is this thing called? A, a baldric. A baldric. All right, well, I just glued the buckle to the leather and okay. made a little baldric. And to make the sword, I used a little round dowel for the handle. Okay. And a coffee stirrer for the blade. And I just used a knife to cut and shape and detail those things. Yeah. And some super glue to stick everything together. You really sanded that blade sharp. Oh, it's too sharp, actually. (laughs) For no reason. Oh, right. (laughs) Uh, If a really smart mouse gets a hold of that thing, we're dead. (laughs) Seriously. Oh, and the guard for the handle is what? Yeah. EVA foam? EVA foam. That you scored with a knife Mm -hmm. and shaped with some heat? Just a hairdryer. Finally, I used some other leathery scraps mm-hmm. to make a, a, what is this thing called? A scabbard? A scabbard. <laughs> did you do any research on the parts of the sword? I did. <laughs> I, well, I, you did the research, uh-huh. so in that way, yes, I did the research. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to stick you. <laughs> <laughs> I deserve it. I do deserve it. No, this looks great. For wood and foam, mm. I think this makes a great sword. Yeah, and the best part is it fits in the scabbard. Good job. <laughs> Ready to take a look at this finished pirate? I, I be. I be. <laughs> oh, but first, let's uh, put this Miami <laughs> Steve Van Zant bandana <laughs> on his head. Because <laughs> this really completes the picture. It does. There he is. A rattle me bones. <laughs> I think he looks like he stepped right mm. out of the Pirates of the mm-hmm. Caribbean yeah, ride. Yeah, I think so. Mm-hmm. And remember, this started out as just a pretty generic Halloween skeleton mm-hmm. that cost literally five bucks. He's scary. Yeah. The color of his bones is horrifying. Yeah, and I think that is just, like, these bones have been out at sea uh-huh. on that cursed ship for years. Oh, yeah. And what, the the flesh and muscle probably sloughed Ugh. off bit by bit. Uh, seabirds are feasting on his doomed corpse, <laughs> leaving a bloody stain. My God. Of- How is this a Disney I, ride? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Let's look at a comparison. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's what happens, kids, when uh-huh. one twin takes the path of the straight and narrow <laughs> right. and the other spends his college money partying, <laughs> following a band on tour. Oh, yes. You know, Choose your path wisely. <laughs> that one is just a little bit country <laughs> and the other is just a little bit rock the and roll. The contrast is amazing. <laughs> it is. Oh, here's a tip for anyone who's following us and enjoying these videos. Yeah. If you like this video, you might want to subscribe because in an upcoming video, uh, yeah. we're going to show you how we made that pirate ship wheel. <sighs> that was a lot of fun. Yeah. And we tried a few things that we had never tried before. Right. And it, it turned out pretty good. Yeah. So watch out for that one. Yeah. This was a really fun project. Yeah, Yeah, I had fun. Really looking forward to the next part. Oh, yeah. Arr, just keep your hands off me, (laughs) screw holes. You (laughs) lily-livered, needle-felting swab. (laughs) Arr.